Good morning everyone, it's Salam Sejahtera. I'm here from JJ Perumput to share together with you about Form Ranger for the purpose of Lesson Library. Okay, let's start it by creating a folder. You can name any folder, name whatever you like. Let's say for example, I rename it here Lesson Library February 2024. Create one empty Google Forms and as well as this uh, Google Sheets. Let's say for example, I already created one Google Forms over here name as Google Forms with Form Ranger. I just name it as Google Form or Form Ranger. And then I have a list of the name of the students here. Let's have examples that I have Ali Abu Dalia Ganesans. So actually, I already created one Google Sheet here that I just put the student name and the name of the student over here. I just copy this name and I just put it all inside here. Ali, Abu, Delia, and Ganesan. The purpose of Form Ranger is if any changes that you make here, let's say for example that you add more name of the students down here, automatically all your Google Form will be updated with the new names of the students. Okay, let's say for example that we give a try here. Uh, let's say for example here that we have, uh, I give a try here, I put the names Ali, and then have to link the sheets. When I link the sheets, I have to make sure that I select the existing spreadsheets. Then I press select. Okay. Then um, I'll find the name of the knee, the name of my slides. Say the name is here. Okay, student database here. Then I press insert. Right, I can see that he is already responses here in Ali. Let's give it a try another time another time. Okay. Let's say for example, I put it here as the name Delia. Summit. Okay, so I can see the response. The Delia name is over there. Okay, let's say for example now uh the database in increase. So I have a new name here. Let's say, for example, Juhaida. Okay. Here, Juhaida. Juhaida. Uh, then I got Join, Tan, and Stephanie. Stephanie. Sharon. Okay. So, how am I supposed to do so that the, all the names here will be updated automatically inside here. So what you can do, you go up here at the add-on, go down and find the form ranger. If you don't have it, you need to install it from the Chrome Web Store. Okay, you press here and press start. Okay, let it populate first. Just wait for a while until it connect to the particular Google Sheets. Okay, where is the Google Sheets? Let's give it a try one more time. Okay, let's give it a try one more time. Say for example, go on to here, go to Form Ranger, you press Start. Okay, so you want to connect, press the plus here sign because I already connected it to my Google Sheets. You see, when you press plus button here, you find the student database name here. So you have the sheet one. This is the sheet one with the database located. And the form responses is over here. So go back to Google Forms here. So all the names already, already updated automatically. You can see here, Ali Abu Dalia Ganesan updated automatically. Then you press next and save and populate. So for here, your name is actually it's one. So the name and range name, you can name anything, but I would just put here name. All right, and save and populate the question. Okay, so. Since this is for demo, so I didn't on the on for submit, but you can on it whenever it's uh, necessary. But for this demonstration, I just on it for every hour. Once I update the questions, just press hold here, and then you can see the names of here. So let's say we give a view. Right? 
then we can see the name already updated Ali Abu Dalia Ganesan Johaida Jointan Stephanie and Sharon. Let's say for example that um, probably uh, Ali and Abu no longer in the class. Probably they've been transferred to other school. Okay, let's say we delete it here. We delete it here. We delete the row. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six only students. And you can see over here the names of Ali Abu still there, right? So what we can do we just refresh it okay just refresh it okay ali name abu is still there right okay so for this purpose the every hour the form ranger will automatically run and will update whatever data that you have over here so this one for demos purpose i just update it here to shorten the time so you can do it every hour right so i just update the question list from the name right from the name column then you can see that the ali name is disappear over there see ali and abu no longer there then only six persons inside the google form so that's all the sharing for this morning i hope that it might help you to get some ideas and knowledge about form ranger thank you very much from gg pyrumpot